Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge, and today we're bringing you a tutorial on Xcode. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover UI view animation. We're going to look at how we can move the UI view up when a text field, for example, is under our keyboard. When we focus on that text field, we need to scroll the view up so we can see our text input. So without further ado, let's open up Xcode and create a new project. It's going to be a single view application. We're going to call it Animate View. Uh, iPhone only. Save that. And we're going to quickly set up a UI for this. Drag some text fields out and copy and paste them. So we've got five text fields. So we're going to spread them out. And one roughly halfway, and one definitely out of sight as well. And we're going to give these a quick placeholder. Then we're going to open up our assistant editor, and we're going to control drag from each of our text fields into our view controller the H. I'm going to call these text field 1 to 5. And the last one. At the top here, we're also going to include the UI text field delegate. This is essential. We have to have this, otherwise we can't access anything to do with the UI text field. So we're pretty much done in the view controller dot H. So we're going to go over to the view controller dot M. We're going to synthesize these correctly with an underbar variable. If we just quickly do that. And the last one, and clear out some of this that we don't need. So we're going to need three methods. The first one is bool text field should return. This is where we're going to hide the keyboard. We're not going to do the background touch. We're just going to hide the keyboard when someone hits return. Uh, the next one is text field did begin editing, and the last one is void text field did end editing. So in here, we're going to return no, and we're just going to do it if we get a text field, then we're going to get the text field and resign our first responder, so that hides the keyboard. So that just simply does that one. So if we quickly run our application, and we're going to have a look at the text fields that cannot be viewed very well when the keyboard appears on screen. So we can view three fine, four is a bit dodgy, and five we definitely can't see. So let's start off with uh, four. So if text field is equal to self dot text field four, then we're going to get within square brackets the UI view, and we're going to begin animation nil and null. UI view again, and we're going to set set the animation delegate to ourself. UI view again. We're going to set the animation duration. Sorry, duration. And I'm going to set that to 0 0.5 seconds, a half a second. And UI view again. And set animation begins from current state, yes. So we're going to always re refer to what the state of the animation is in at the time. And then we're going to do self.view.frame. So we're getting the frame of our UI view. And we're going to do a CG rect make. A 
and then get a self.view.frame.origin, which is the top left corner, and get the x value. And then the y value is what we're going to change. We're going to move it up and down. So negative moves it up, positive moves it back down again. So we get the self.view.frame.origin.y, and we're going to minus 25 pixels from that. And then we get our self.view.frame.size.width and our self.view.frame.size.height. And that's that part done of moving up our frame. We just need to do UI view commit animations. So that's that done. Now we're going to do the bit where we need to drag it back down when we're finished with that text field. And we're going to change, we're just going to copy and paste exactly the same and do plus 25 instead of minus 25. So it's going to put it back to where we started. And before we actually run our application, we need to go into the utilities inspector and then the connections inspector and click on our text fields and drag the delegate down to the view controller. If our text fields are not delegated, then we cannot perform any of the methods that we've just created on them. So if we save that, run the application and we'll test text field 4. So 3, fine, the return keys works fine, so 3, 4, and you see how the view animated up slightly. So if we go back to 3, it'll animate down, go back to 4, and it animates up. So now it's within view. So let's go ahead and complete the last bit to do our text field 5. Because this one definitely cannot be seen. So we're just going to copy all of that again. And this time we're going to move it up about 50 pixels. And then return it those 50 pixels. And run the application again. And we'll see how that looks. So 4, return, 5. Nope, we need to go up a bit. So let's change it to 75 just to make sure it's clear. So as you can see, you can play around with these values, and 75 looks nice. We have it on screen, and you can see it very well. So that's how we can do some UI view animation to prevent our keyboard from obscuring our view so that we cannot see any of the text fields. So that concludes this tutorial. I will be more than happy to send anyone the code, so PM me. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at, at the Dev Lounge and like us on Facebook. I'll put the links in the description. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.